One of the few trucks which we are yet to do a tour of at the World Tour level is that of Agitadeur La Mondiale, the French World Tour squad, uh, which homes Roman Bardet, third this year and second last year at the Tour de France. So let's take a look inside. Right, starting from the back then, this is where all of the bikes are racked up. You'll notice that a lot of the bikes are sat outside, the first team bikes. They will be just placed here when the truck is closed up at night. And these, the spare ones, as I said, racked all the way along here with the DI2 chargers there to charge all of the Shimano electronics. Uh, on the other side, we've got here the start of the rack of wheels. Going in depth order, quite like that. Uh, from the deepest Cosmics here at the top, around about 60 millimetres, uh, down to the medium versions, and then the climbing Sirium wheels down here at the bottom, which don't look like they're used too much these days because there's no cassettes on any of them along the bottom, as far as I can see. Right at the back, there are a whole load of spare Continental tubular tyres. Uh, I think they're ready to go on the wheels. These are presumably the punctured ones that the team has had so far. And then if we start looking through the drawers, uh, well then this one consists mainly of different plugs and charges, etc. Uh, but also, importantly, spare mounts for the roof rack on top of the team cars where the bikes are clamped on. Further on down, spare TT and seat post. Spare saddle and seat post, should I say, for the TT bike. A Dura Ace rear mechs, and in fact it's an Ultegra one, uh, but complete with ceramic speed hangers. Spare pads and armrests for the TT bike. Uh, we've also got bottle cages in here for the time trial bikes. Yeah, materials contre le Mans, which is time trial specific stuff. So that's that drawer. Okay, guideline and cell. So spare saddles and bar tape in here. Uh, I have to say, I'm a sucker for the colors that they've chosen for the factor bikes and also with these nice physique saddles. Really nice, the turquoise and white there. Uh, they've got the time trial specific physique saddles here with the cut off nose so that you can get uh, in a good position quite comfortably. And a whole load of physique bar tape, white and black further on down here, and one spare seat post and physique Arioni saddle for a road bike. And some Mavic stickers for the disc wheels. And this one looks like a lot of spare chain rings. Yep, a whole load of different Shimano Dura Ace chain rings. Uh, this is a compact one, interestingly, 52 by 36. Even the pros occasionally do require compact chain rings in order to get up the climbs comfortably at a decent cadence. Trying to see if there's anything more underneath here. Uh, we've got some spare handlebars. Lo there's so many chain rings, I've never seen so many in one place. And then, what's this? This is stuff that they put on the bikes to stop the cables from rubbing uh, the paint away on the frame. This next drawer, again, full of Shimano spares. We've got a whole load of cassettes here. Uh, interestingly, quite a few Ultegra cassettes uh, in this particular drawer. Batteries for DI2. A whole lot of different cables, etc., in this box as well. Then, what have we got over here? Ceramic speed stuff. So, we've got all the ceramic speed bottom brackets in that particular box. And then, in the last one here, we've got chains. Again, mix of Shimano Durace and Ultegra. Uh, this is something that every mechanics truck will have. So the scales, these ones from Park Tools, it's very important to make sure that their bikes meet the UCI's minimum weight requirement of 6.8 kilograms, because I know that the factors do come in uh, under that if they're not careful, so they do have to add some weight. Next drawer down, load of spare nuts and bolts. Ah, and this is to ca uh, cable housing, isn't it? So that you can put two sets of cables uh, rather neatly together. We've seen that on a few of the pro bikes over the last few years. Uh, spare inner cables there, a few bottle cages from their sponsor Elite. Ceramic speed stickers, another hanger. Uh, and then there is the all-important tubular glue, which they will paint to the rims uh, before they put the tubular tyres on. I do like the hidden trapdoors uh, in the floor. This one houses a whole load of different elite bottle cages, including the all-important polka dot ones, uh, just in case anyone at the Tour de France was wearing the polka dot jersey. Nice little touches. Spare pedals in the next trapdoor. Further on down, we have got the Mavic disc wheels, of course, for the time trial bikes and some more uh, cosmic wheels, medium dish or medium depth, shall I say, just there. Uh, inside this cupboard, nothing too much of note. A pair of wellies, always important when you're spraying your bikes 
that you don't get your feet all wet. A couple of aprons there as well. Uh, I do like the compressors that they have in the pro team's workshops. This one is, of course, for the tyres and blowing up a bit easier than a normal pump. But this one, is here, is for drying the chain off and other parts of the bike after they've cleaned them. And the final drawer here, that feels very heavy. Okay, full of cleaning products. Morgan Blue, I believe, is the sponsor uh, of the team, so they've got plenty of lubricant there as well. Up here is where they've got all the spare cassettes from 11.32 for the big mountains, uh, all the way down to 11 to 25, the closest ratio, uh, which actually we saw on Roman Bardet's time trial bike a little bit earlier on today. Down to the drawers. Oh, are they locked? I know. Lock, locked for Lloydy. I just can't figure out how to get them open. Uh, right, up here in the top, a whole load of crimper pieces for cable ends there. Not sure what that is. I'm sure somebody will be able to tell us. Oh, digital multimeter. Spare Mavic brake shoes and brake pads. In this drawer, loads of quick release spares. Further on down, we have in here, ah, chain keepers. See, Si, an important tool for all pro mechanics. These are the Park Tool Chain Keepers. Tempted to nick one, actually, I must admit. And tape, you really can't get too much tape uh, as a pro team mechanic. Comes in handy for all sorts of problems. If you're wondering why there are a whole lot of toe straps just here, uh, they're not thinking of going to an old fashioned pedal system, uh, but instead those are what secure the wheels onto the roof racks of the team car. And here is their all important accreditation so they can get around and what they call pretty much the Bible when you're at a bike race. Uh, this is for the welter, of course. All the maps, all the stages, all the stage routes, everything you need to know. And then finally, before we head out into the front of the truck, uh, this is Roman Bardet's spare Factor 02 road bike frame. Uh, written on the top, take the risk or lose the chance. Do you like that motto? And onto the kitchen area, which is used by the soigneurs. Uh, to our left immediately, uh, what looked like a load of old washing machines, but this is actually where they store all the bidon uh, or bottles. I'm not sure where they've got the tops uh, for them, but I'm sure they've got them stored somewhere, maybe. No, it's just a load of main parts of the beetle. Uh, the all important washing machine and dryer, which does all of the riders kits uh, after each and every race. Uh, that'll be delivered back to them the next morning or even sometimes the evening of the stage. Ah, printer in there. Logistic stuff by the looks of it. Uh, in this one, a lot of condiments, pasta, rice, uh, a lot of things that the riders will eat uh, immediately after stages once they've had their recovery drinks. A uh, map of the race. Well done, Spania. Panole. I used to love having them when I was an amateur in France. Kind of sweet, soft breads. And sometimes they'll have them actually in the race, filled with jam or honey or even Nutella sometimes. That's a real treat. And the sink here, all of the time trial bottles ready to be cleaned. They will have been training out on their TT bikes today as we're filming this just a couple of days before the start of the world, which kicks off with a team time trial. In uh, here, cling film, aluminium foil, some kitchen utensils, further down. Oh. Ah, the all-important olive oil. Oh, no, it's not. Syrup de fruit. Again, something I had quite a lot as an amateur. A lot of the amateur teams back in France actually use that uh, instead of energy drink for the races. Uh, finished with the fridge freezer uh, up here in the fridge. Lots of fresh tomato, mozzarella, uh, some jambon as well, and some cheeky little cans of Cokes there at the bottom. They've got a lot of bottles of water in the freezer. That's simply to put into the cool boxes uh, filled with bead ons that they'll put into the back of the team cars during the races. Well, thank you very much to the Age 2R team for letting us have a look around their truck. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the Global Cycling Network, you can do so now by clicking on the glow, which will be on the screen. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. And there's a couple more videos which you might want to watch right now. Uh, a couple of years ago at this very race, Matt took a look around the Age 2R team bus. You can find that in the bottom corner just down here. Or if you'd like to take a closer look at Roman Bardet's factor bike, that video is just down here.